That was an adventure. Cause I'm going to Jackson. Oh, I'm Did you see that view when you walk out the plane? In the airport, we're good to go. The bike is checked. Got all the stuff on my back. That was an adventure. My bike, I initially weighed it, it was 46 pounds with just the bike and everything on it. After packing it all up, it was 64 pounds. So I did throw some last stuff in. I thought it'd be plenty. I thought I had enough time and space. And long story short, I end up with my front bag and then the back bag just hanging off my back right now. And they let me go through with that. And it got to exactly 50 pounds, like 50.0. But hey, we made it. They, they let it go through. So now on to Jackson. Made it to Jackson Hole. Now let's hope that the bike made it too. Hello. This is beautiful. Did you see that view when you walk out the plane? Oh my. Here, wait, wait. Check this out. Check this out. That is nuts. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Moment of truth, moment of truth. Let's see how everything fared. No. Oh no, some sealant. Well, that's not sealant. Nice, the tires are still inflated. That's not banged up against the edge. Guys, oh, I think we made it. My derailleur, hopefully still straight. Yes, okay. We may be okay. All right, all right. Now time to build it. That went actually really well. It was a lot easier. I'm, st I'm worried, right? I mean, we don't know. We haven't taken anything out. See if everything's still straight, but... Tires are still inflated and everything is there. Nothing looks broken yet. Let's unpack it. I think I may have packed just a little too much inside the box. Because there's still a ton of stuff and my bike is essentially packed and done. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I really don't know what I want to do. And there's still some stuff in the box too that I got to take out. Yikes, I got a little pack happy. A few moments later. Bike is all packed up and we're ready to go, but... Before I leave, I need to show you this airport because it is hands down the coolest airport I've ever been in. All the decals, look at all the wooden pieces everywhere, the big space, the fact that you walk in right behind that entrance. After, after getting this view, right? oh, this guy, get away. Using community health orders that are now in effect. But look at this. mandatory to wear facial coverings while in public indoor spaces throughout Teton County. It's no big ask to wear a mask in Jackson Hole. We'll be wearing one to keep you safe, and we sure hope you'll do the same for us. Thank you for visiting us safely, and 
We'll see you on down the road. Thanks, man. May I have your attention, please, for your safety and the safety So you get off the plane and have that view. Then you have all of these really nice baggage claim things. All the statues, all the pictures, all the everything is just really nice. Fun fact, this is the only airport within a national park in the U.S. So nowhere else in the U.S. can you fly in and have a view like this. Oh, you're good to go. Thank you. Oh, I'm pumped. Oh, there's mountains everywhere. Come on. Come on. Oh, boy. Okay, wait. Before I start the ride... I'm going to give you the real. I don't just want you to think that this is all fun and games, right? Although I hope it is. But how I'm genuinely feeling right now is nervousness for a couple reasons. One, I've never done something this big before, ever. Not at 10,000 feet, not climbing however many tens of thousands of feet we're going to climb. And I'm also worried about the bike being set up correctly. So I just put these tubeless tires on. Luckily, they made it here fully aired up. But the front one did have a little flat. I was packing up the bike and it just started leaking out air. No idea why. No idea why. That's it. That was at home. So, a little nervous. I'm just trying to give you honesty. I'm very, not a little, I'm very nervous about things working out correctly, about having the right gear, about being in the right shape, and about the elevation and, and, and altitude that we'll be climbing. But... Fear shouldn't stop you from doing something that you want to do. A trip like this, one, it's on my list. It's number 25 on the Kev Does 101 list, which is a 25, a two-week bikepacking trip. Right, so it's on the list. We got to do it. And even if it wasn't on your to-do list, your Kev Does 101 list, if it's something that you want to do, try not to let fear stop you because then you won't get to experience just views like this. Woo! All right, enough talking. Jackson, here we go. Cause I'm going to Jackson And I'm already here DQ might hit that up tomorrow We made it Jackson Hill didn't beat the dark But at least it's not pitch black So now to go find my camp spot can see that but there's a little cut right here in my pad this is night one and I go to lay down and I feel some wind I thought it was wind coming up from the side here I thought geez that's a lot of ventilation but nope just my pad deflated <sighs> way to begin the journey anyways I'm gonna fix this and head to bed. Talk to you tomorrow. Great first day. Great first day.